literally everyone and their mom has been going on about how these books are so toxic and i really underestimated just how toxic they were <laughs> i'm so stressed i'm so stressed out <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is kaya and as you can see from the title of today's video i am going to be reading magnolia parks and daisy hates by jessa hastings i have been meaning to start this series for a very very long time i've just been so nervous to dip my toes in the water and in this video i didn't just dip my toes in the water i dove into the water and i can't even swim i've sunk to the bottom i'm gasping for breath i'm so intoxicated and like consumed by this series already i don't know how i coped luckily i did not have to go on this journey alone thank heavens me and my bestie rami actually decided to buddy read both magnolia parks and daisy hates and she is actually filming a youtube video as well so after this video if you guys want to see more reaction to these two books then all of her links and everything will be down below but other than that buckle in grab a drink uh, grab some popcorn and let's read these books together i am genuinely gonna be in for the roughest time of my life with this series i just know it already literally i'm on page 60 and i've already bawled my eyes out if you know you know but it's actually crazy because i genuinely feel so connected to these characters already okay so it's a little bit later on in the day now and i can't tell you how genuinely disrespected i feel at this book for making me cry at nine o'clock in the morning i've been awake for a solid two hours and i was already crying there's just one page in this book so far that has really got to me to begin with i didn't actually think i was going to enjoy it me saying to begin with like i'm that deep into the book and i'm loving it so much and it's like the the bone to my flesh <laughs> I'm literally on page 85. But the first couple chapters, I was a bit like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this because it's a book set in England. And you're probably thinking, Kaya, aren't you from England? Yes, I am from England. And the whole point of me reading is that I wanna escape from this hellhole. I don't wanna read about people in England. Also, I thought, cause you know what? This might actually be the book that sways me. But so far I am actually enjoying it. There's a lot of characters that are thrown in in the beginning and it's just like, okay, who's this, who's this, who's this? And to be honest, I've given up trying to figure out who's who. I'm just going with the flow. And I gather as I go along, I won't have to think too hard about who's who and it will just come naturally to me. I'm gonna read on and i'll check in with you guys maybe later maybe tomorrow who knows we shall see <laughs> guys it's the next day it's saturday and it is currently 9 p.m and i am currently on page 273 of magnolia parks and i'm on chapter 43 um this book is very frustrating to say the least it's very toxic it's so toxic there's so much miscommunication it's not even miscommunication there's just no communication there's no healthy communication to be found in this book so far and it's so frustrating because it makes you want to rip through the pages to these imaginary people grab both of their imaginary heads and bang their imaginary heads together claw, claw. Crap, I'm telling you. I ha I have no idea what's going on. This book is so intoxicating. You're frustrated, but at the same time, you can't put it down. Like genuinely, I had this book earlier and I was giving it a beating of its life because what do you mean this is happening? What do you mean that's happening? What do you mean he's doing this and she's doing? Both of them are just so toxic. But you know what? We stand a toxic woman. We do not stand a toxic man. We're at the point now where we've just read something and it's making you second guess everything. And if what I'm actually thinking thinking has happened has happened then that puts a spanner in the works that changes everything and i'm hoping that's not the case i could be completely wrong i will find out eventually hopefully but oh my god i don't really like bj at the moment i understand the appeal i really do i just have this strong sense that bj is just very misunderstood that's all i can really say at the moment i think both of the characters are insufferable but magnolia is my girl so i don't really care i will update you guys either later on or tomorrow <laughs> guys it is 8 40 p.m the next day and i have finished magnolia parks i didn't record any clips of me reading this today because i'm not gonna lie i just wanted to sit in my bed and be a slob all day okay i don't want to pull my camera out no one needs to see me looking like a slob i'm actually really glad that i didn't record myself reading any of this because the ending made me bored if i'm feeling brave i'll put a clip on screen this really writes her book so beautiful <laughs> like what do you mean yeah, I don't want to talk about it. There are genuinely no words to describe the emotion that this book provoked out of me. That's a lie. There is, and I'm going to run you through it right now. Sad, frustrated, angry, heartbroken, disappointed, annoyed, raging, rage, raged. Did I say frustrated? Any negative emotion you can think of at the top of your head, that book made me feel today, yesterday, and the day before that as well, okay? Not going to lie, I found all the characters to be insufferable, but do I still like them as individuals? I do. Have I grown attached to these characters? I have. 
have it's a very love-hate relationship that me and this book have that me and the people in this book have and you cannot tell me that they're not real people because they are i don't want to hear it these are real people okay not gonna lie i really didn't know what to rate this book to begin with i was thinking oh i'm probably gonna give it like a 3.75 but then i sat with my feelings for a little while after the book and not gonna lie i was literally caressing this book like it was a baby oh, whilst listening to the playlist that i curated the day before all the all the songs are sad of course and i was just debating the book debating where magnolia and bj's future lies debating literally everything because oh my god this book was so unpredictable it was genuinely it was it was like a roller coaster ride swing back for me tonight whoa whoa everybody now whoa Whoa. honestly it was really was a roller coaster and i'm still so conflicted but you know what after i sat with my feelings for a little while i was just like this is not a 3.75 stars and i felt like i kind of let my feelings and emotions towards the characters play a part in the lower rating that i wanted to give compared to what i'm actually going to give it now I'm so good but i hate them both but i love them but i hate them but i love them the last page of this book touched so so close to home i cried and i feel like the last page in this book is going to stick with me it's going to be one of those quotes that sticks with me forever <sighs> that's how you know you're reading a friggin good author when they provoke so many mixed emotions from you it was a literal shit but do i love it anyway yes and am i excited to read on in the series yes am i also going to pick up daisy hates almost immediately after finishing it yes Rami has already started this. She said that she's loving the vibe so far and apparently it's a completely different vibe to Magnolia Park. So I'm very excited to dive in. Like, I genuinely feel so bad for Daisy at this point because how am I supposed to be interested in this girl's life when all that I can think about is Magnolia and BJ? I'm sure I'm gonna love her and I'm sure probably at the end of this book, I'm probably going to feel the exact same way as I did at the end of Magnolia Park. Hey guys, it may or may not have been a full 48 hours since I last filmed anything, but I'm here now to give you an update. That's all that matters. I am on page 272 of Daisy Hate and I have to say I am enjoying this so much more than I thought I would. I love Daisy. I knew from the first sentence in this book. Let me just check. Is it the first sentence? Was it the first sentence? The first paragraph. I knew I was gonna love Daisy. She's literally just so strong-headed and such a lovable character. I really really like Christian as well. In this book you get three point of views. You get Daisy's, Julian's and Christian's. I'm not gonna lie when I first got Julian's point of view I was like that's Daisy's brother. I was literally just like huh this is what I thought it was gonna be. And then the chapter after that it was Christian's. I was like phew. Thank goodness for that. Once again, this book is very, very character driven. Magnolia Parks was really character driven, but I have to say there is slightly more bot in this book. And I feel like that's made the reading experience a lot more enjoyable. From how far I've read up to on this book so far, I feel like I definitely prefer Daisy and Christian over Magnolia and BJ. I've got quite a few tabs in this book. It, okay, it doesn't look like there's a lot, but I mean, there is a lot and I've been annotating it. And I've just been genuinely having a really fun time. I think Christian is so lovable, even though he's a little bit problematic, but I mean, literally every single person in this universe Universe is problematic. Christian is my exception though. He's so He's so sweet. I have really enjoyed having a third point of view as well, Julian, who I didn't think I would like as much as I do. I definitely would say that this book was a lot more easier to get into than Magnolia Park. I mean, I'm already in the universe now, so obviously it's definitely a lot easier to read and know, like, semi know who the characters are. By the way, if literally nothing of this made sense, I'm literally so tired, so I'm really sorry if none of that made sense. Why am I so tired? Anyway, I'm gonna read for a little bit. I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I just gasped. Why did this book have to get so incredibly juicy the one time I am tired before 9 p.m.? I'm mad. Sh hit the fan and it's getting real. It's getting real in this book. Chapter 50 was crazy. It was an emotional roller coaster. And the fact that there's only 100 pages left, Jessa Hastings knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. The same way I finished Magnolia Parks wanting to read more about her story, I just know that when this book comes to an end, I'm gonna wanna continue reading the series to figure out what happens. What's next? These books are addictive. The stress, the stress. I am so invested. I literally love Daisy so much. I love Daisy so much. What did I just read i'm gonna reach page 300 and see if i can see if i can keep my eyeballs open how am i gonna get to page 300 I'm so tired oh wish me luck guys mr sun it's great that you came out to play today but like this was the angle i'm going for and this is the angle that's just not working i've actually found a spot with decent lighting so i didn't actually read anything more since i last filmed yesterday but i am currently on page 261 chapter 69 
chill anyway so i've got about 50 pages left and oh my god this book is stressing me out this book is stressing me out so bad it's like there seems to be a recurrent theme here in these books you think everything's going great everything's going well everything is okay not perfect because i mean i don't think these people's lives could be perfect because they're so drama filled but you think okay everything's going great everything's going fine everything's going as smooth as it possibly could boom it goes tits up broken hearts shattered souls disappointed readers i'm sad and i have a feeling that this book is not gonna end well the same way magnolia parks didn't end well and i'm scared i feel like these 50 pages are gonna be a real stressful time but you know what i'm here for it since i delved into this series i've become accustomed to the chaoticness and the toxicness and the stressfulness i've just become accustomed to the stress that it brings me and now i'm gonna see how much the last 50 pages stresses me out i will check it with you guys afterwards let's go <laughs> The woman was too stunned to speak. I don't know whether it's because I've got a really bad headache, but I literally feel so emotionally drained right now. I feel like because these books are really character driven, you become attached to the characters really easily. So when they're hurt, you feel hurt too. And at the end of this book, there's like a betrayal and it actually made me tear up. And I was just like, what is happening? I, there, there are no words. There, there, there literally is no words. I love this book so, so much. But the ending of this book, what do you mean? Oh my God god daisy 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 how i feel for you my love how i feel for you that was so british my love i'm sad i feel hurt i knew this wasn't gonna have a great ending doesn't make it any less surprising i'm gonna sit with my feelings and talk to you guys tomorrow okay guys it's the next day since i finished daisy hates and this book has been living rent free in my head this bitch up she doesn't even pay rent but she lives there i've honestly just been thinking about this book and i've been listening to again by noah cyrus on repeats because i don't care what any of y'all say y'all who am i am i american no i'm british that song is so christian and daisy coded it really is i love them so much Honestly, going into this series, I did not know what to expect. People said it was toxic. I severely underestimated just how toxic it was. But oh my god, I'm actually so glad that I finally picked up this series and started reading it because this series is probably going to be a five-star series. I haven't had a five-star book yet, but all in all, I feel like it's going to be a five-star series. So let's run through my overall thoughts of both these books. Obviously, the first book that I read, Magnolia Parks, this book stressed me out so, so very badly because it was very much a roller coaster. As I said, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can't really say too much without giving the whole premise of the book away but let's just say it's toxic it's a toxic relationship it literally says on the back how many loves do you get in a lifetime she is a beautiful self-involved and mildly neurotic london socialite he is britain's most photographed bad boy who broke her heart but magnolia parks and bj valentine are meant to be aren't they and i don't know i feel like it's just difficult to talk about these books because there's not really much plot it's very character driven and the little bits that you do talk about the book could potentially ruin the whole thing magnolia parks she's very lovable everyone loves magnolia parks literally everyone loves magnolia parks and it's a problem like genuinely it is a problem in the book i'd say she's a likable character but she isn't my favorite after reading daisy hates i'd have to say daisy is probably my favorite but we'll get onto that back in a minute the writing of these books is absolutely beautiful i've never read anything like this book before and that's why i feel like it's still sticking with me even after i finished it like literally there's just something so poetic about how both of these books have been written and the inner dialogue of these characters will literally put your heart back together and rip it apart again will make you smile then will make you instantaneously sad but overall though i think i'm gonna rate this four as i said i was thinking i was gonna rate it a three point seven five because the characters really grinded my gears but i've decided to bump it up a 0.25 because obviously it's really beautifully written although i didn't agree with what the characters were doing most of the time like 98.99 percent of the time no not even that screw that 99.99 percent of the time jessa hastings writes so beautifully and has created such a beautiful like setup for an ongoing series in this book yeah i really i really did enjoy it the most part despite how frustrating and angry it made me feel i feel like that's how you know you're reading a good author when she literally 
provokes every single emotion you could possibly feel four stars i'm really interested to see where magnolia and bj's story continues to go then of course daisy hates oh my god 4.5 stars now i've heard a few people say that they prefer daisy hates over magnolia parks i have to agree i did enjoy daisy hates a lot more than magnolia parks there is a little bit more plot the three point of views which keeps it a little bit more interesting daisy is just such a lovable character like daisy is my girl i've probably said this already so much throughout this video but daisy genuinely is my girl she's so strong-headed she's just a powerful woman she's just everything she's got her wits about her she's beautiful she's rich she's literally guarded by like so many hot guys which she can't take advantage of <laughs> she's a little mischief maker i definitely say but she genuinely has a heart of gold and i just love her so so much i also love christian so so much i prefer christian over bj once again i'm still so annoyed at bj but obviously he literally has two more books to redeem himself so i'm giving him the benefit of the doubt and i'm hoping that he does redeem himself although christian still really annoys me i feel like he's annoyed me a whole lot less than bj ever has christian there's hope for christian i'm not even a fan of blondes but christian is just everything like the moments between him and daisy have just been so so sweet and cute and it's just been so fun to watch their feelings for one another unravel throughout the book i feel like with this book it definitely provoked all of the emotions out of me once again towards the end there's kind of like a betrayal and my jaw hit the floor i was genuinely so upset like my heart literally plummeted and it sunk and i was just like how could you how could you and it's just like dude these people aren't even real in my head these people are real in my head daisy is my bestie and once again the last page of daisy hates was sad it didn't make me cry though magnolia parks did make me cry once again christian and daisy's dialogue was so beautifully written and oh my gosh i don't know how to describe it because i'm really not that smart if you guys haven't already gathered i genuinely cannot wait to see where the rest of their stories go and obviously you've got julian's point of view as well and it definitely kept the books a lot more interesting having that third point of view julian we we kind of don't like julian right now but i did love julian to begin with once again <sighs> Just gotta see where the story goes. Four star, 4.5 star. Love them both. Cannot wait to continue the series. So if you guys enjoyed watching me read Magnolia Parks and Daisy Hates, don't you worry, there's gonna be a part two. I am going to read the other three books in this series in another video. With me personally, I like to spread out series because I feel like when I binge read a series back to back, it leaves me feeling really empty. I have a problem finishing series, but I know that I'm going to want to finish the series because it's literally all that I can think about. Well, that is it for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and comment down below if you've read this series and what you thought about it and don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out and i'd really appreciate it i hope to see you guys in the next one i mean if you if you if you want if you want to like there's there's like no pressure <laughs> i'm literally going to be thinking about these books for weeks for weeks guys